be alright. You won't. Food foresters, how is everybody doing? Winter is almost done. I know everybody's getting excited. And here in Central Florida, it is they March. Yeah, it's Mar it is March. But we are getting ready to plant. <laughs> I am planting flowers today just to get a jump start on everything, and we are gonna direct soil into the ground. And I got a little technique that might help you guys out if you do this and you have kind of a crazy yard like I do. So let me show you what I've done. Okay, so I have a bag here that's full of cut up either toilet paper rolls or the um, paper towel rolls. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to kind of get them into the ground like so put my seed in there and then let it be this way one um, recycling and that's biodegradable it'll add nutrients back in and become compost and in case we are mowing or weed eating we'll kind of see the tops of these so that way we don't run them over but that's how I'm going to use up something instead of throwing it away. Okay, and then here are a bunch of the seeds that I am going to be planting. A lot of them are mainly sunflower seeds. Um, I'm gonna get a jump start on my butterfly pea. Sorry, they're falling off the car. Wasn't expecting that. Um, buzz button, chamomile, um, Butterfly pea, that's another one. Giant, uh, giant sunflowers, which is our, which are the mammoth. Um, dinner plate hibiscus, more sunflowers, some moringa. I'm gonna go ahead and plant a lot of moringa around and I'm gonna start some in pots too. I got some cosmos and I got some milkweed, I got some jasmine. So it's just gonna be a combination of a lot of different things that I'm gonna go ahead and put. A lot of these seeds are at least two, maybe three years old. So I am just going to get rid of all of them. I'm gonna plant everywhere I can. A lot of times, hello stupid. Um, I'm gonna be planting in between the banana rows too underneath trees along little things along the ditch line i am going to be planting along the fence lines i'm just planting everywhere today so i'm going to take you along and i'll show you what we've also been up to the last couple of weeks all right this is kind of like the nursery setup um eventually we're going to bring this all up and till it make it all level but what i'm going to do is along the fence line here all the way around I am going to be planting my mammoth sunflowers. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. I got them spaced out and they're easy to see. So when something starts growing in them, we don't have to necessarily mow it over. Got them all the way down. Went all the way down the fence line here. And then I even got some right here. So I'm going to keep planting and um, I'll show you some other things as I go along. It is right out here, Woo -wee. and I am doing my best here. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and plant my butterfly pea on our uh, trellis that we had last year, same place. And then on the swing set garden, we're going to go ahead and plant the Asian yarlung green beans along the back. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that done, but uh, here's a layout of all the flowers. I'm going to try and plant as much as I can and then I might sprinkle some just on the ground just for the fun of it so we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, put some sunflowers there all along the back of the house in between the bananas and some of the pineapples here I got daisies 
And then over here, in this little swing uh, where it was a trampoline, I put a bunch of different flowers there, sunflowers and I believe Mexican sunflowers and some daisies. The back row tires have the um, yard long green beans in them. This guy here has my butterfly pea all planted. Now these tires back here, the back row has the long green beans in them, but in the front I put more um, the smaller uh, sunflowers that only grow like four feet tall. And then over here, almost the same thing. I got the beans in the back. I got some flowers in the front. And same with just this tire here. That tire is full of fire ants, so I can't touch it. I can't do anything. <laughs> All right, so next we are going to go towards the other end of the uh, property here but I wanted to give you guys an update on the tree since you saw that in the beginning we are down to one branch we have to rent a boom to cut that down in sections um, but we were able to get the other two branches down and uh, hopefully we'll get the rest of this down here soon and uh, that way then um, We'll just leave the tree stump there. Don, Donald will cut around the roots to stop that growth because obviously they're getting into the septic mound. And we're using the logs to make raised beds. This isn't the final thing. We're kind of tweaking it a little bit. And then um, this final uh, tree stump here, we are actually going to cut like uh, about that thick maybe that thick of um tree stump to make hot plates for donald's cast iron so that way he can set them on the tables on top of the tree stumps so we thought that was a really good idea to reuse some of it and as you can tell the bananas are coming back things are looking really good um over here you can tell they're they're popping out and uh, we went ahead, we pulled everything out of the containers because we're going to be moving these. That one needs to get fixed, so we're going to move it out of the way too because it's going to be in the way of the tree. Um, but let me go grab my bags and head over to the next spot. Shh. We have deer right at the fence line. Yeah. They're going into the taller area. We always knew we had deer out here. There was always sleeping spots for them. All right. We got baby boy and the five ducks moved over here mr and mrs turkey are in here too mrs turkey might be laying an egg she might be in there um but they're uh with the spring rains are going to come this area is going to get flooded so we moved all the waterfowl back over here and as you can tell this is zone three we're going to be cutting down the cassava to stumps. we got to let them grow another year. But um, we're going to go ahead and cut them down and let them reproduce their stems. I'm not worried about putting any flowers in here. This area gets enough, uh, enough business. But this is a... Uh, is this the papaya? No, this is not a papaya. This is, I believe, 
a mulberry. But I got no, can't tell. Wow, it's really coming back. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Over here, these guys are finally coming back. We're gonna be moving these bananas once we see that there's some life in them. We're gonna move these and then we're gonna plant a bunch of uh, flowers there. And then over here, I'll show you everybody. We got our chicken tractor going with the naked necks and uh, the clay. We're incubating eggs too. Hi guys. And over here, that's our junk pile. When we go to the next dump run, we put the, uh, hi guys. The breasts and all four hens are doing great. Um, hi guys. Hi. There is, well, there was, I guess they're inside. Well, hi, stupid. What you doing, baby? You come to check me out? It's okay. Everything's good. We have Miss Cinnamon Queen, and we caught that uh, loose rooster that our neighbor has. I guess they're inside the uh, hut house here. And we finally got a name. Hi, Sarge. We named him Drill Sergeant. Hi, Sarge. And call ducks are doing great. Um, Stupid and his crews are out. Well, hi, Bonnie. Hi, Mitya. Hi, guys. Gonna come into here. This is the mini food forest, and I'm gonna plant a bunch of stuff in here too. Ooh, vulture. Um, everything seems to be coming back really good here. Hello, bunny girl. How my bunny girl? Hi, honey. How you doing, Lydia? Lydia's horns are getting longer. The grow out pen is completely empty. We put Big Boy and the two gray slate hens in there, and there is another rooster from our neighbor if you can see him he is a little i think he she said she he's a double booted bantam his name is doc so he's been living with the turkeys we've just been like okay um and then there's uh clyde so what i'm going to do in here is i'm going to go ahead and plant a bunch of flowering seeds in here as well just to help out with the pollinators so i'm going to go ahead and get going on that part Oh, and there's the Toro. Those leaves are just humongous. Alrighty, so I put down Mexican sunflower seeds, regular sunflower seeds, some Save the Bee Borage, some Butterfly Mix, and Cosmo, and then... Um, some lavender and some chamomile seeds all all around the tree and along the fence line just to see if we can uh, grow some more flowers now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna see if I can plant some in an area where my chickens really aren't going to try and scratch at I got milkweed and I want to kind of keep the milkweed separate from everybody else so I need to find a place for that. Alrighty, I have tossed seeds into the ditch area. Both sunflower and gigantic sunflowers. I've planted or seeded um, the milkweed along the ditch line here or in between flowers all the way down to the end. And then I tossed the rest of the giant sunflower seeds into that ditch area there. I can't get to it, but I figure, why not give it a try? If the birds or squirrels get it, then they get them. No big deal. I planted everywhere I could think of. 
So I am going to go ahead and go inside, take a little break, get something to drink. It's getting hot out here. But look at that mulberry tree and that beautiful blue sky. I even planted some sunflower seeds right here. Um, but yeah, everything's starting to come back. So it's not a total loss. Got our figs are coming back. That's a brown turkey. This is the LSU. That is the white Pakistani. Um, but slowly but surely, we're getting things to come back. 